What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that, but in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive, and of course, Paid to Drive Vlogs coming at you with another new video. I hope you're all doing great out there. So ladies and gentlemen, if you uh, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you are in the right place, my friends, to stay connected with what is going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications. You're always notified every time we post something new here. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And let's jump into this email, Triple Lindy Thornton Mellon style. So everybody, let me give you just a big disclaimer here, okay? Other than this email that I have here, I cannot confirm more than this email. So this is confirmed based on what this is, you know, what this says here. now. This person, Dana, has sent in stuff before. She's been watching my channel for a while. She's always come across as a very honest person. So take this information with a grain of salt, okay? The subject is DoorDash is stealing tips. Now you understand why the disclaimer's there. So they say, or she says, hey, Pete, um, you're airing my email from the other day, but I have another issue that I have verified to be true tonight. <clears throat> I was picking up an Uber Eats order from a Pizza Hut that I used to be a driver at. I spoke with the general manager for a bit. A general manager asked me why so many orders never got picked up. I told her it was because of the no tip, no trip. I explained to her that DoorDash is only paying out $2.25 per order in our market between Dayton and Cincinnati, Ohio area. Um, we got into a discussion about Out Outback Steakhouse, Chipotle, and other various places pocketing our tips. She then proceeded to show me with a pre-tip order that was called in by a customer. She entered the $10 pre-tip and the DoorDash payout changed, changed it to $5.50. Okay? So look at that. They're taking $4.50 of that $10 tip right there for total payout on the run. I was absolutely stunned. She said they no longer have in-house drivers and that they only use Uber Eats and DoorDash for deliveries now. This location, along with a few other Pizza Hut locations, oh, Pizza Hut locations. She said that DoorDash sends them an invoice every month and that's how they get paid by corporate. <clears throat> Watching her enter the pre-tip into the DoorDash system and watching DoorDash drop the value of the total payout to the driver absolutely blew my mind. I thought DoorDash was on some shady stuff but could never prove it. This general manager at this location just proved to me they in fact do take a portion of our tips. I have her name and phone number and will be contacting her later to get more information. She said that drivers come in constantly bitching about how bad the tips are and that she gives them the receipts with the totals on them, proving that it's DoorDash keeping them. Sincerely, Dana. Woo, okay. So, I know there will be people out there that will say, Ah, oh, Pete, this is a lie. It's a lie. Again, before you leave that comment, okay, think, use your brain, people. Why would someone, why would a driver go to the extent of writing an email such as this with so much detail from an actual experience from a place that they previously worked at where they have a rapport with that general manager? Why would that be a lie? Think about it. So look, I'm going to just say it like this. It doesn't surprise me, okay? Now, here's why DoorDash is so sneaky. If this is 100% legitimate, okay? Think of it like this. DoorDash doesn't have to steal tips on all orders. They can just do it on some orders so that they can make a little bit more money. Because in my opinion, it's not right. It's not okay. But DoorDash just seems to feel, well, on those places like Pizza Hut and, you know, like maybe fast food orders or places that aren't like prestigious restaurants or mom and pop places, it's easier to skim some tip money 
from the corporate places like, like I said, like Pizza Hut or Domino's or Papa John's or whatever, because the drivers won't notice. They're, they're not assuming that a driver has rapport with the general manager who's showing them the receipts and showing them the tablet and stuff like that. So DoorDash may be caught here, all right? So everybody in the chat or the comments down below, please let me know. Based on this information, do you think DoorDash is stealing tips? I'm still on the fence, but I'm leaning more towards yes, based on this information, because I don't think Dana would fabricate this just for the hell of it, okay? So with that being said, guys, let me know your thoughts down below. This is pretty serious. So if you guys ever want to send me anything, send me an email at paidtodrivestories at gmail.com, all right? And if you guys ever want a faster response, you can actually message me through Patreon at patreon.com slash paid to drive. Link is in the description or the pin top comment if you'd like to sign up. And anyone who does sign up, I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. I'm gonna do that right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got the very generous Ari Rosenbaum, our $100 ultimate driver. We've got Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilan, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Jenny Thomas, John Bonacci, uh, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacy Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. Huge shout outs to all of you. Sign up for Patreon down below. Links in the description of the pin top comment. And also at the bottom of the description is the link for the free gas app called Get Upside. Make sure to download it down below for free. It is fantastic. It allows you to save money at the gas pump. So you download it using the link uh, at the bottom of the description. Go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Link's in the description. Make sure to download it today, everybody. And of course, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, go and visit paytodrivestore.com. We have lots of different designs, colors, sizes, you name it. PayToDriveStore.com is the place for you. That's right. So, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm very grateful for you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for doing that. Leave a comment right now saying "end two five two e n d two five two." Just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications. So you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one.